So as you guys know, football is a game all about speed, uh, quickness, uh, acceleration, agility, and whatnot. No matter what position you are on the field, you're going to need to be fast. Uh, but today, in this video, we're going to try to win a game without sprinting at all. Yeah, you heard me right, dude. We're going to try to win a game not holding RT in this case, not sprinting. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult um, no matter what position we are. I'm going to be using play suggestions so it's fair, so I don't only pick passes. Uh, so it's a good mixture of both runs and passes, so it's somewhat uh, fair. But anyways, this is going to be a very difficult challenge. A lot of you guys suggested me this one, uh, so I'm not going to shout out a specific person. So if you did suggest this challenge, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. For your suggestion so without further ado let's get right into uh, the, the draft um, that consists uh, of a team that doesn't know how to sprint and we're gonna see if we can win a game while doing so let's get right into it coach round we do have Gus Bradley John Harbaugh and Ben McAdoo uh, I'm not really familiar with any of these except for the Giants uh, but they do run a 4-3 I'm actually gonna go with the Ravens just because of the 3-4 John Harbaugh He's going to be coaching a team that doesn't know how to sprint. So I feel like he's going to go a little bit crazy on the sideline. We're going to be new. We're, we're going to be doing nothing uh, but jogging, no matter where we are on the field. First round quarterback round. We're going to go with Derek Carr. Good all around quarterback. Uh, moving on here. Uh, for the second round, Derek Johnson. Look at that user. 88 speed. That might be the user. Yeah, that's going to be the user, dude. Derek Johnson. Watch out for him, dude. Hopefully we can get a few user picks for you boys. Moving on, 3 out of 15, Ray Nischke right there, Michael Strahan, and Antoine Bethea. I can't decide between Bethea and Michael Strahan. They're both pretty decent cards. We're going to go with Michael Strahan on left end. Hopefully, we can get some pressure there coming off the edge. Uh, moving on here, Amir Abdullah, Ronald Leary, and Will, Will Shields. Um, Amir Abdullah, that's a nice, nice card. But I also want to go for Will Shields or Ronald Leary. Uh, 91 strength, 91 strength, okay. Uh, we're going to go with the right guard just because I do run to the right more often than I do the left. Uh, moving on, round 5 out of 15 here. Big man Vince Wilfork, but we're not going to uh, go for that. We're going to go for Bud Dupree just because of that 88 speed. I do like having that at an outside linebacker position. It does help a lot. Um, Ladarius Green right there, he's going to be our tight end. 88 speed, very good card. Uh, in my opinion, Pizza has destroyed me plenty of times with that card. So now it's time to get my revenge. We're going to get Stefan Gilmore at corner there. First corner. Hopefully he can uh, lock some things up for us on the outside. Uh, 8 out of 15. And I just realized, dude. I just realized when we're usering, we can't sprint. We can't hold our teeth. So we're going to be jogging around. So if we get a user pick, not sprinting, jogging around the field. It's going to be funny. It's, it's going to be pretty hilarious. Um, we could pretty much, like I said, we could pretty much play everything normal. Uh, we just can't sprint, and it's going to be very difficult for us. And we're doing play suggestions on offense. Uh, Dion Buchanan, what a beast user. Too bad we can't sprint, dude. Really, it's too bad. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be very difficult. We have to completely change the way we do play on defense as well as offense. It's going to be very difficult to get anywhere with a running game and let alone short passes uh, and trying to get upfield as well. Uh, round 13 out of 15, we're going to go with Jonathan Casillas at right outside linebacker. We are at 85 overall. Two more rounds left, Paul Richardson and Phillip Gaines. We're going to get Paul Richardson just because we only have one wide receiver so far. Bringing us up to an 86 overall. And for the final round, uh, DRC, Jordan Reed, and a Alec Ogletree. Um, we might get Jordan Reed, dude. That looks pretty decent. Yeah, we're going to get Jordan Reed. So we have Jordan Reed and Ladarius Green at tight end. We ended off with an 87 overall. Uh, so pretty pretty good draft. Hopefully uh, this, they help us out. We're definitely going to need it in this challenge. Before I get into this video real quick, I want you guys to open the description down below. See that P.O. Box address? Yeah, send me something, dude. Please, please send me something. Whether it's a freaking gum wrapper or a $100 bill, dude. I really don't care. Send me something. Put your name on it, and I'll give you a shout-out in your video. I opened the P.O. Box for a reason, and I keep forgetting to remind you guys about it. So send me stuff, whatever you want, down below, and I'll definitely feature it in a video. So without further ado, 
Let's get right into the no sprinting challenge. Gator EST 1995. He does have a decent looking team, uh, but the no the non sprinting squad, um, they're, they're not really uh, they're not intimidated. It's gonna be an easy game for them, dude. They're used to running around back and down up and uh, down the field. Uh, but this game, they have it easy. They don't even have to sprint. That's how easy it is for them. Hopefully, they can make it happen here. Let's get right into it. So, it's going to be very difficult to get used to not sprinting. Like, I, I, I'm tempted to hold down RT right now because I always do holding RT to begin with. And I just messed up the user there. So, I literally have to hold my controller like this. I normally keep my finger up here, but I'm holding it like this so I don't accidentally sprint. Uh, this is going to be very difficult. So if we're in like pursuit or something of a person, we cannot do anything. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. He does have Tony Dorsett. First and 10. He's on my 36 yard line. Got to make the right read. It looks like he's going with the run. I'm on the tight end if he throws it. Don't throw it to your tight end, bud. Oh, man. I didn't think he saw him. So that's why I left him go. Probably should have stuck with him. This guy's... This guy's uh, not messing around, so we got to step our game up. Yep. Yep, he's got a money formation going on, buddy. All right, buddy. All right. Okay, we might have to start running some man coverage on this dude because he likes to expose my defense. Yep, he's in the same formation every play. Okay, we can make it work. We'll make it work, okay? Throw it. Test the user again, bro. Or get cracked. Or get cracked. Did I just sprint? I might have just sprinted on accident. If I did, I extremely apologize. I literally might have just did it on accident. I have a feeling I did. Um, I'm telling you, it's literally natural for me. It's very hard not to. Test the user. Test the user, bro! I'm not sprinting. I'm not sprinting. <laughs> That's what you get. That dude was pissing me off. Let's freaking go, baby. Second and two. So this is like a dual two-and-one challenge. Trying to win a game only with coach suggestions as well as not being able to sprint so we got rb right there ladarius green is about as slow as me about as slow as me left guard looking like right there mesh here first and 10 uh we haven't we've gotten lucky we haven't had to to call a rushing play yet those are kind of going to be our our bad plays are the rushing plays because uh it's going to be very hard to get anything going there it is hb lead dive let's see how it is without the sprint never mind it's the end of the quarter let's get it <laughs> Second and 14, got to make the right read here. We should have uh, Andre, I just said Andre Reed. We should have Jordan Reed right there. Derek Carr is having a decent game so far. Um, okay, we're just going to hit, we're just going to hit Trent Richardson. For the touchdown, did he get in? Oh no, he's on the one yard line. And we have to go with HB zone on the one yard line, but we can't sprint. We can't sprint, dude. This is going to be very hard. We have to rely on our own line. Let's get it, boys. CJ Anderson in for the touchdown after the shed tackle. And we're going up seven to zero. That's huge. He's gonna be going for it on fourth and six. This will be huge if our defense can get a stop. He's in this formation again. We're in, we're in man coverage. Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. And his quarterback's making a bad throw. John Elway with the misfire. And we're getting the ball right back with a minute and 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can put up another touchdown before half. So let's, let's see. It's going to be Jordan Reed. That's who we're throwing it to. With Oh, that's, <laughs> that's Ladarius Green with the huge catch. Wide trap on the five-yard line. Something's telling me this isn't going to work. Something's telling me it's not going to look very good. Let's see. To the outside of the middle. CJ Anderson for another touchdown. What a freaking beast, dude. He doesn't need to sprint, dude. He's been breaking tackles all day long. So he doesn't even need to outrun his opponents. And we're up 14-0. Third and 18 here for John Elway and the 49ers. We're getting there as fast as we can. And there is uh, Joseph... Jonathan Joseph with the interception right before half. And this guy's falling apart, dude. First and 10 here. This looks like it might be a decent play. We might have uh, Ladarius Green over the middle. Let's see if we should. We should have Ladarius Green over the middle for the touchdown. We're going up 21 to 0, baby. We don't need to sprint, I'm telling you right now. We could still dot up people's defenses with 70 speed. 
after the onside kick by this idiot uh, to start the second half. We're going to flood here. We got pretty decent field position. Let's see if we can drop a 50 bomb on him. Shut out 50 bomb with the freaking no sprint challenge, dude. Antonio free. Oh, man. If we got past him, we would have been gone. All right. Second and goal here. We're going to hit X. Oh, man. And that no, don't take it all the way. That's a terrible read by me. I did not see Eric Kendricks there. And we're throwing our first pick. First and 10. Oh, man. Oh, man. This guy's running. He's running the same formation, dude. Same play. Same play. He's ran this play like 10 times. Honestly, dude, to be honest with you, it's kind of like when people run mesh over and over again and just keep throwing it to the opposite drag routes. Like, do you have fun playing like that? Tell me, do you have fun playing like that? Do you have fun doing that? Say hello to Derek Johnson, by the way. What a freaking beast. By the way, if any of you guys are watching, any of you guys that consistently run mesh every single game, I don't like you very much. I'm sorry. I just don't. We're, we're not sprinting. That's not sprinting. I don't know how he's that fast. I really don't. So, oh, my God. I completely forgot. So I just went to, uh, I went to my orientation day for school, for college, uh, and I picked my classes for today. And let's just say... My schedule is freaking loaded, dude. So here's a little bit of an overview. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 8 to eight to 9, I got a class. Uh, and then 12 to 1, football from 3 to 6. Uh, and, then, and then I have a class after football. So pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely freaking loaded, dude. Um, it, well, obviously, football practice is every day. And then I organize my schedule so that Tuesdays, I don't have anything planned. So Tuesdays are a free day for me almost, except for football, obviously. Um, and that's Derek Johnson once again. Uh, but like, so I'm gonna, if I do record videos, they're all gonna be on Tuesdays. And then obviously the weekends, if I do have time. Um, so I, I've been doing my best to organize this schedule to work out for both my academic interests, football, and, and as well as YouTube. So hopefully you guys do uh, enjoy that. Um, Cause I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try to be as active as possible during college. Hopefully you guys do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it's going to be two times a week or four times a week. I really could not tell you how many times I'm going to upload uh, until we get there. So that's I'm moving in in two weeks or so. So it's going to be very difficult. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit transitional for me. So I may not upload as much the first couple weeks. But maybe once I get used to it, I'll do a lot more. So it's all based on uh, uh, experimenting and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So as long as you guys stick with me uh, throughout it. Um, I'll pr I promise to uh, keep and do my best to put out good content for you guys because that's my worst fear is losing people because they think I'm inactive. Uh, I'm definitely not inactive. I promise you guys. So let's keep let's keep this train rolling together. How about that, dude? And he's coming in to freaking destroy Derek Carr. I want to put up another touchdown on this kid. He's pissing me off. Third and six. Three minutes left in the game. This is a long game, dude. We've been recording for a while. Um, we have X up the middle. Terrible throw. He's falling on his head. Third and two. We do have a stretch play here. Stretch, you obviously need speed to get to the outside. I don't think we'll be able to convert. Let's see how it goes. Never mind. We got blockers, dude, for once in our freaking life. We have blockers. CJ Anderson's a beast, by the way, dude. He's been having a freaking game. Shout out to him. Yep. We got freaking Antonio Freeman for the touchdown, dude. Just keep adding him on. 35 to 0. That looks like it's about it for that dude. I can't believe we actually got a shutout. 35 to 0 in the non-sprinting challenge. That's a freaking game. Heck of a game, dude. By the slow squad. That's what we're gonna call them. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to leave a like and comment. And if you didn't, suggest another video. Suggest a challenge uh, that you guys would like uh, that you guys would like to see me do. And if it gets enough thumbs ups. Or if I just like it, then we're going to do it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget about the P.O. Box. Like I said again, dude, send me something, please. I will definitely feature it in a video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment. Let's try to hit 400 likes if we could. That'd be awesome. But anyways, shout out to you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm Gyps, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.